Hey, look! Professor Oak wants me to help him figure out some things about the Pokemon running around here today. Snorlax. <laughs> or not running. This data is important, so maybe I need some help making sense of it. Sure. Let's use the Pokepile to ask Ada at the Learning League Lab. Hi, Ada. I'm trying to organize some data for Professor Oak. Sure. So what do you need to know? Well, I have the weights for Pokemon in one area here. But Professor Oak wants to know some general things about the data. Got it. Can you tell me what data you have? Yeah. Here are the weights of the six Pokemon in this area. Snorlax. Yep. Snorlax weighs 1,014 pounds. That's big. But then again, Oddish weighs only 12 pounds. That's a big difference. And there's an idea that we'll use. You're talking about the difference between the smallest and largest number within a group of numbers, or data set. That's the range. Oh, so Professor Oak might want to know how much of a difference there is among the biggest and smallest, right? Sounds like it. The range can tell you if there's a big difference in weights or if they all are pretty close in size. So, Oddish's weight is the smallest and Snorlax's weight is the largest in the set. Yep. Now to find the difference, subtract the smallest number from the largest. What is 1014 minus 12? 1002. Great. So as you said, the range between the weights of Pokemon in that area is 1002. I got it. Now, what about this? Professor Oak wants to know the mean, so we can figure out how much food we'll need on average. Mean? All the Pokemon seem pretty nice. Actually, you've already said it. In this case, I think he's talking about what a lot of people refer to as the average. The mean of a set of numbers is the typical value of that set. First, you add the different numbers together. Let's see, that's 1,280. Now to find the average, divide the answer by the number of Pokemon you started with, 5. What do you get? 1,280 divided by 5 is... Two hundred and fifty-six! Wow! Snorlax's big weight really makes an impact! So the mean, or average weight, is 256. Now if we want to know what falls in the middle of the data set, that's the median. It's the middle number in a set of data, when the numbers are written in order. So first, put the numbers in smallest to largest, or numerical order. For our set, it would be 12, 33, 33, 188, 1014. What number is in the middle of the list? 33. It's right in the middle of five numbers. Yep. So the median is the number that comes right in the middle. But what if there are two numbers in the middle? I mean, if we had six instead of five numbers, there would have been two numbers in the middle. Which is the median? Great question. An even amount of numbers in the set. Let's just say that there are six numbers in a data set, like this. Now there are two numbers in the middle of the set. The median, in this case, is the average of those two numbers. So what's the average of the two middle numbers? Um, to find the average, I'd add 6 plus 8 and get 14. Then i divide 14 by 2 to get 7. So would the median be 7? Right. Okay, on to mode. The mode is the most frequently occurring number in a set of data. In other words, the number that appears most often. Remember, our data set is 188, 33, 12, 33, 1014. Which number occurs the most often in this set? Well, the only number in this set that appears more than once is 33. So 33 must be the mode. Right again. You might want to find out what the mode is because the mean can be a lot higher or lower than the number that appears the most often, like in your case. I see. There are a lot of ways to look at the same information. Right. Each gives a different view on the numbers.
Okay, let's take a look at some more data for practice. Here's some information about weather at the lab. Review it and the range, mean, median, and mode. Then maybe you can help me. I'm compiling this data for our lab almanac. When you're finished here, click the Next button. Let's work through these questions about the data set. Pick the correct answers for each question. What two numbers would you use to find the range? Right! The range is the greatest number in the data set, less the least number. In this case, it's August average temperature, 26.4 degrees Celsius, minus December's average temperature. 8.2 degrees Celsius. What is another word for mean? Right. Mean is another word for average. Does this data set have a mode? None of the numbers in the data set are the same, so there is no mode. What is the first step in finding the median? Right. You need to put the numbers in order. Now I need some help. I've got some food for some Pokemon on the grounds. Help them get to their food bins by using what we've learned about mean, median, mode, and range. What is the mode of this data set? Great! What is the median of this data set? Great! What is the median of this data set? Great! What is the range of this data set? Great! What is the mode of this data set? Great! What is the mean of this data set? Good work! What is the range of this data set? That's right! What is the mean of this data set? Good work! Thank you! Professor Oak is going to be really pleased with this information so we can keep the laboratory running smoothly! Now, I have to get back to work. It's feeding time! Snorlax! Snorlax! Yeah, 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 I know. I'll feed you first. The range is the greatest number in the data set less the least number. Try again. The range is the greatest number in the data set less the least number. You can find the mean by adding all the numbers together and dividing the answer by the number of items in the data set. Try again! You can find the mean by adding all the numbers together and dividing the answer by the number of items in the data set. The mode of a data set is the number that occurs the most often in the set. Try again! The mode of a data set is the number that occurs the most often in the set. The median is the middle number in a set of data when the numbers are written in order. Try again. The median is the middle number in a set of data when the numbers are written in order. Try again.